Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff and this is your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Gemini. What is going on with my Geminis? What does Gemini need to know at this very moment and time? All right, let's see. Thank you, Spirit. We have Protection 29. Feel free to break down the numbers. We have Broom 8. So protection by cleansing, cleaning, cauldron, 10. Hmm. And it looks like she's dropping bay leaves in there. I feel like, okay, so you're cleansing your space, right? I feel like what you need to do in the form of cleansing, not just, of course, cleaning your home, of course, but I think you're supposed to make some type of broth or soup. The aroma will cleanse the air exactly the way that you need to, if that makes sense. So, Because I feel like you're cleansing for something specific, for some type of energy. We'll figure out when we get into the tarot. But the way you need to do it after you're done dusting and sweeping, because I feel like it's more so dusting for you and sweeping, cleansing the air. When you, um, after you're done cleaning your home, you need to put something on the stove that'll make some type of like smell go through your home. I don't know exactly what type of herbs, but I'm, I see those as bay leaves. You need to make a broth that'll make your home smell a certain way and that'll cleanse some type of energy. All right, overall energy is nature spirits, 26. I hope I articulated that clearly enough for you, but let's get into the tarot for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know at this very moment in time for Gemini? I feel like it'll ground you, get you more in touch with nature, possibly, or invite those type of spirits towards you. All right, we have the Ten of Cups. Protection. So yeah, it'll protect your home. It'll protect your family. And make your family feel like they're at home. Because you know you can be home, but to really feel at home, you may want to have certain smells going or a certain atmosphere or a certain feel to it. And that'll help if you're welcoming, especially if you're welcoming someone new into your home, like a new family member or a pet or something. We have the Seven of Wands. You have protection for your home. And I feel like it's more so protective energy. So maybe you need to cook something that you were, um, your mom used to cook for you or your grandmother used to cook for you when you were a child. Yeah, four of wands. You can also get um, a security system or cameras. Right now, I'm getting your energy is just to protect your home. This is what this reading is all, already going to be about. You need to get cameras around your home or like a um, some type of security system. It's nothing to worry about. I just think you you want to do something to make you feel secure at home or get your locks changed to make sure that they are secure, like update your locks or update your security system at home. But I think it's more so the feel and the energy, the smell of your home. You need to put some type of smell into your house to make it feel like home. Yeah, nine of wands. Maybe cinnamon. You, maybe you need to boil some cinnamon sticks because I've heard of that. Like some people will put orange peel, cinnamon sticks and a bunch of like good smelling things and boil it for a few hours or an hour. And just it fills the home with a really nice warm feel and smell and scent. Yeah, the Emperor Aries overall energy. You could be doing this for a relative to make them feel comfortable or welcome. Or that'll put them at ease. That's a lot of fire here. A lot of wands, especially with that emperor energy. For some of you, you're welcoming home a new family member. I feel like someone's requesting you to do this. This is a lot of fire here with the emperor as well. Seven of wands. So there could be a masculine energy around you. And Aries trying to like be protective 
or protect the home, protect their family. They're feeling the need to do so. But why? Why is someone feeling so guarded? Someone's feeling very guarded. Clarify this for Gemini. Clarify this message for Gemini. Clarify this message for Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Why are they feeling so aggressive? Clarifying the Ten of Cups is the Three of Swords. Okay, yeah. So this emperor is not a welcome at this house. This Aries is not welcome. They're heartbroken that they are separate from their family. Ace of Wands. Yeah. Their ego. Their ego is very much bruised. That their family has, has moved on without them. They, they want back in. Clarifying the Seven of Wands is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, or someone's ego here is very much bruised because a family has moved on without them. They feel like um, another man has become head of their household and they're very upset about that. They want to protect their family from this, the hangman Pisces energy. Yeah, someone's very protective, egotistical, guarded because they feel as though someone else has taken over their household. Clarifying the Four of Wands and the Star card, hope and healing. Yeah, they wanted to, they thought they were going to get back together with someone and it didn't go that way. They feel very threatened. Or they took too long to get back with someone. Three of Cups, yeah, clarified by the Four of Wands with the Star. Or someone's trying to come back and heal things with you because they feel threatened or scared. That someone else is going to be like the head of household. They feel it's like an ego thing. I feel like this person thought they had all the time in the world. They genuinely do want to get back with you because they genuinely do love you. And they want you back or they want a family with you or they want their family back. But I feel like they feel the need to do it now because they feel threatened. I feel like they were taking their dear precious time. Clarifying the nine of wands is the seven of cups. Yeah, manipulation, confusion. The Hermit card, Virgo. Because I feel like this person was coming, they were in hiding, keeping to themselves, uh, being very laid back, acting like they had all the time in the world, dragging their feet to try to heal this connection, heal this family. And then someone else came intruding on their quote unquote territory. And now they want to protect their family or come back. Overall energy is the King of Swords. There you are. Yeah, because I feel like there's a very controlling energy here. With the Ten of Cups, clarified by the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone intruded on their territory. Their quote-unquote territory. With the Seven of Wands and Nine of Wands. I feel this as though it's going to go one of two ways. Either someone is um, trying to protect their family from someone else intruding on it. Or... This person is coming back because they feel protective of your of this family. And they don't want anyone else to have this family. They see it as theirs. Regardless, I do see with the Four of Wands and the Star and the Three of Cups, someone's trying to manipulate someone into letting their guard down and letting them back in. I feel like someone may be trying to manipulate you into letting your guard down and manipulate you into letting them back in trying to heal things with you. Yeah, because I'm seeing someone is very guarded and very standoffish. Yeah, because with the four of wands and the star, hope and healing and celebration and reunion, someone wants that. Someone wants to heal things. But first, they have to manipulate you into letting your guard down. It could be a Virgo doing this, but Spirit's telling you to trust your intuition and inner guidance. Because someone's trying to confuse and manipulate you into letting them back in. Tr trying to remind you of what it feels like to have them there. Making it feel like home. Trying to make you nostalgic. That's what this is. They're using things to make you nostalgic so that you'll let them back in. Very egotistical person. I also, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, this person may have a whole nother like relationship somewhere else, but they come back because they feel 
threatened by someone else intruding on this relationship or this family. I just keep getting that this person's only returning because they feel threatened, very egotistical. Yeah, they're going to come back and offer you something. This person's very manipulative when they want something. All right, behind the king of swords. Yeah, seven of swords. If you are dating someone else, keep it a secret from this person because they're just going to try to manipulate you into taking them back. They're going to try to make you nostalgic or bring up wanting to be a family again. They're just going to say things to touch on your heart, pull on your heartstrings. I would, yeah, protect yourself. Keep, keep the air clean because this person's just trying to confuse you. They see that you're standoffish. You don't want them back. You're guarded. But it's like they're trying to plant these memories or these feelings of healing and reconnection. It's a, it's, and it feels like you're healing things and working things out. I feel like you're all up in this headspace of like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with them. We're working it out. It's everything's going to work out. And it's all just like someone manipulating you. You got to keep your guard up with this person. They're only returning because their ego is bruised. All right, let me get your final message for Gemini. Final message for Gemini. Dang, the cards. Final message for Gemini. Okay. All right, we have Toad, humor, the grotesque joy. Yeah, I see you moving on with someone else and being happy and healing and celebrating, having fun. I see you welcoming someone else into your home or um, having a happy family with someone else. And here this person comes feeling territorial over something that's not theirs. Wolf, the self without others, a calling, the great expansion. Yeah, the hermit card. Yeah, you've learned and grown to be on your own and be without this person, being alone or being strong. And this person feels like either they're they're jealous because you don't need them or that you're with someone else or both. Doll, the illusion, old wounds, childhood. And that's what I was getting. Like, now this doesn't have to be like romantic. This could be a father figure. Take it as it resonates. I wish I said that earlier. Because this can go for family, friend, love. You know, put it where it goes for you. It could be a father figure. Maybe um, your mother or father got remarried or into a new relationship. And they feel like, oh, this person is raising my child. Well, then you, sh you do it. <laughs> you know? Overall energy is house. Stability, stagnation, family. Literally. That's what I was getting the entire time. <laughs> so definitely have to do with childhood wounds for this person. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.